22 months had passed since the agreement of Hudaybiyah and the Meccans had kept to their side of the bargain until the incident in the month of Shaban. One day the Prophet had had a vision that they would enter the holy mosque of Kaaba in safety with their heads shaven or trimmed and without fear. In the morning the terrible news reached the Prophet Muhammad that Ben Bakr allied to the Quraysh attacked Bani Khuda, a lie to the Muslims, and killed 23 people, most of them women, elderly and children. The Quraysh regretted what they had done, and they knew it was a clear violation of the Hudaybiyah agreement. After listening to Amr bin Salim from the Khuda tribe, the Prophet said, Now I will send Damra to Mecca, and I will ask them about this incident, and give them three options to choose from. Although the Quraysh denied committing this despicable tr crime, they were still worried and trying to find a way out of this situation. Abu Sufyan, the Meccan leader said, I have not been consulted on this matter. I didn't know about it and I didn't authorize such attack. I swear by Allah that if my feelings are not misleading me, Muhammad, will surely declare war on us. I do not see any option other than going to Muhammad and asking him to renew and extend the agreement. Abu Sufyan came to the presence of the Prophet Muhammad and said, O oh Muhammad, I was not present at the Hudaybiyah agreement. Now come and renew that agreement and extend its period. The Prophet Muhammad asked, Is that really why you have come here, O oh Abu Sufyan? Or is it that you have done something wrong before this? Heaven forbid, said Abu Sufyan. We still abide by the agreement we have signed at Hudaybiyah. We will not change it or violate it. He kept talking about the Hudaybiyah agreement, yet didn't want to mention anything regarding what they had done to the people of Khuda. That day, Abu Sufyan went to the old leading Muslims in Medina but was not able to convince any of them. All of the doors were closed on Abu Sufyan. There was nothing he could do except to return to Mecca empty-handed.